Peace and grace, y'all. This is uh, Vision Prone checking in right now today with Darius Dior. And we just want to know a little bit about what you got going on. So first of all, just start off with telling us who you are, brother. Uh, Darius Dior, um, kingdom music artist, South Carolina by way of Brooklyn, New York. Uh, photographer, videographer, owner, operator of Thinking Kingdom. Um, it's a production company. Of course, we do music. Um, but we also do content creation, and we provide media services for small businesses and artists. Um, you know, we also do cre creative consultations as well. Uh, we have a, a clothing brand, um, and we're just here for the culture, uh, and that culture is, is kingdom culture and the kingdom of God, um, and I pray everybody is, is, is well that's consuming this content right now. So um, what did you initially start the um, Thinking Kingdom Media company for? Um, I started it originally to, to, to um, help small businesses and, and, and music artists, you know, create content. But before that, I was trying to create content for myself. And then somebody came in and stepped in and was like, yo, I want to help you. Let me hold a camera at least. You're already a dope artist. You're already um, doing all of these different things. But you can't film, you know, you can't hold the camera too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not, not that it's impossible, but that person kind of showed me that it was better to collaborate creatively and artistically with people. Because, you know, everybody say, you know, Nobody's going to shoot me the way that I'm going to shoot me. You know, I wish I had a me outside of my body. And that's what we try to do at Thinking Kingdom. You know, we try to uh, make sure that we everything we do, we do it with excellence. And that we sit you outside of you. And we focus on you, focus outwardly on telling your story. And making sure that it's, it's more about you than it is about the platform and the business itself. Because you, you are what you are the content. All you got to do is just be it. So how long have you been doing this so far now? It's been about six months now. So uh, we're going into July. I started late December. I, I started some time before that. But I made it official as of December 29th of 2021 that I was going to actually, um, you know, start a content creation business. Um, so, yeah, it's about six months, I would say. So if I go to your YouTube right now, I'm going to find a lot of um, interviews on there and uh, maybe a music video or two. Um, can you tell us how you ended up just mainly doing interviews? Like, how yeah. did that come about? Yeah, I mean, as an artist, you know, you always want to, you know, seek out stages and platforms to get your art and get your product out there. And for a long time, you know, as an artist, it was tough finding stages and platforms. You know what I'm saying? Like you go to the studio, you spend a thousand dollars, the lowest budget you possibly can to get an album produced, maybe 10, 15 songs, and your reach is limited because you haven't been out here touring and, and doing shows. You haven't really been building a platform. So, you know, for the local artists, I think it's very important and strategic on both sides for artists and media platforms to collaborate to reach different audiences. Because we all have circles of people that we know, but we may or may not necessarily be tapped into those people uh, because they haven't had the opportunity to sit down and listen to who you are, what your story is, what drives you, what's your passion, what are the things that you want to do, you know, to, to, put, to make the world a better place or whatever the case may be. And so I felt like I was going to be the answer to my problem as an artist, which is who are the breakfast clubs, who are the media personalities, where are the stages, where are the platforms that may not be as large but is available for me to come and, and put my art out there. And so I decided instead of complaining about it not existing, go ahead and be the change that I want to see. And um, it's, I think it's important that we all tell our story in some kind of specific or unique way. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> when can we expect another music video from you? I want, uh, definitely this summer. Um, you know, right now I'm in the process of just um, grooming and coaching and developing creatives to be able to do 
music videos on a smaller scale, you know, because you get your pro guy and he might need 600 from you. He might need 400 from you. He might need 800 from you. I know the last time I paid for a video was about $800. And as an artist, as a starving artist, as somebody who's not bringing in a lot of income, it's very important that you build a community around people, around other creatives, you know what I'm saying? They're teaching them how to do this on a basic level. So very soon, um, there's no rush though, right? You know, I think right now I just got to build, build up the audience. You know what I mean? My customers are also my audience as well. Right, and I have people that come back to me for work, and they have access to people and stages and platforms that I haven't been able to tap into or access as an artist yet. So very soon, there's going to be another music video coming from me this summer. Well, that's good to hear. Um, is there anything else you would like to say? Because I didn't want to make this particular video or interview too extensive. Um, I just wanted people to really understand what you were doing um, how they could find you, why they should find you. Yeah, man, and, just, yeah, yeah. In doing a, you can find me on, the, on, on, on YouTube at Thinking Kingdom Media, um, on Instagram at Thinking Kingdom. Um, you know, you can catch me, find, find me on Facebook or at an event near you. Um, doing an interview with me is going to be authentic. It's going to be real. It's going to be transparent. And it's, and it's going to be available. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, we, we get in this space where you too good to allow me to come on your platform, and then you're also too good to come on somebody else's platform, right? Like, I'm trying to be the antidote, the counterculture to that. Like, I don't know you, don't know where you're from, but I respect you, and I know that you got a story that's glorious and that's going to add value to people's lives, and I want to help you tell it. And it's worth being able to sit down be open to building with you no matter who you are, right? And not having the mindset of what can I gain from you being on my platform, but the mindset of what can I build with you by collaborating with you as a creative, you know, as a business owner, as an artist. So, um, yeah, like, you can find me everywhere you like to consume your, your, fav your most favorite content. Cool, man. Well, we appreciate that, man. I'm going to be checking that back in with you soon, man, to um, keep up to date with the progress that you got going on over there. And um, that's all, folks. No doubt.